so I, I start every video saying all right so it's a bad habit basically if you're not aware which is obviously a lie because everyone's aware it's all going down the pan a bit it's gone a bit like me and there's a brass ass virus going around and uh doing some damage it seems for that reason we're now stuck in the house and we're going to film an inside video because this week I had this idea, I had this plan. I was going to go to uni, I was going to film more of a day in the life of like uni students sort of thing. Like I did last time, but a bit more content surrounding what's actually doing uni, like the lectures and stuff, rather than just a brief few second clip of it. Is Because my final week of lectures this week anyway, so I was like, sick, let's get some good stuff sorted for the final week. And then we'll go on to like exam stuff in the future. Bless plan. I'm like, cool, we'll do that Wednesday. Sick idea. For at least a video Thursday, no sweat. Guess to Tuesday, get an email from uni. Effective Wednesday, all lectures will be moved online. Face-to-face -face interaction at uni will be in the bin. So my plan went out the window. So I'm having to film a video inside, so I apologize for that. But we're gonna make it relevant. We're gonna make it somewhat, hopefully useful and informative. At the time of filming this video, gyms are still currently open or some gyms are still currently open. Is that gonna be the case in the future? Probably not. I'm expecting gyms to close pretty soon. The issue is people are obviously panicking. Uh, a lot of people going to the gym is a bit of a release, especially for their mental health and they're now struggling to comprehend what's gonna happen because there's a lot of uncertainty at the moment, as you'd understand. Just to throw it out there, this video isn't monetized, so I'm not capitalizing on the tragedy or anything. I'm not capitalizing on the fact that there's a pandemic and an outbreak and using it for money or whatnot. Granted, I get no money from videos anyway. Like, you'd be surprised how little money I make. If it does get monetized, it's because someone has claimed the video is theirs. But the video itself was actually recommended by someone on uh, a TFNL chat I've got. So their Instagram will be linked probably around here. And it's talked about like how you can stay fit during this time, provided gyms are closed, what you can do at home. What you have to understand is that although this is quite a, a scary time for many of us, there is something that can be done regarding fitness. You can do a lot with your body weight. Granted, depending on your goals, yeah, caloric expenditure, you can ramp that right up, sorted, circuit training, bless. Strength gain, i.e. for powerlifting, uh, hypertrophy gain, i.e. for bodybuilding, not really gonna happen, let's face it. But what you can do is minimize the loss of muscle and at least maintain as much as possible for the time being, hopefully only a short time. Doing something is always gonna be better than doing nothing. Even though you may lack motivation because you feel like all progress is gonna be wasted, don't let all the work you've put in over the last few months, few years, however long it may be, go to waste because of a temporary hindrance to your training. Do what you can now to put yourself in a better position so when this is over and everything is sorted again and the gyms are reopened, you are at a better rebuilding position than you would have been if you did nothing. So just think whatever you do now is directly gonna impact what you do later. What is lost can and will be gained again, much faster the second time round than the first time round, but hopefully it won't get to that. A very good friend of mine, I've linked him down below, is currently posting videos regarding home workouts, so things you can do at home, basic things like lunges, bodyweight squats, etc., etc. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated, but you throw in higher reps, you throw in intense fires, i.e. one and a half rep movements, you throw in supersets, you can increase the intensity accordingly. On top of that, you grab anything you may have. You may have dumbbells lying around, a suitcase, pack it full of things to make it a bit heavier, all sorts. Think about anything you could possibly use for additional resistance and grab it. Chuck loads of water bottles in a backpack. He's a PT who I work alongside, so I know the information he puts out is good information. I trust him a lot. He's a great PT and he's a good friend of mine. So have a look at his Instagram if you want any information regarding that. Mr. Olympia Bre, that Chris dude, the classic Olympia guy, not like bodybuilding Olympia. He posted a home workout video, him doing squats with the couch and stuff. Man is innovative. Creative genius, I like that a lot. My couch is a corner couch, so it's gonna be bloody hard to squat, I'll tell you that. And quite frankly, I'm probably not strong enough to do so anyway, so that's a meme. If anyone does have any queries regarding what you can do at home, Go into the TFNL community page on Facebook, drop a question there. There are a fair few hundred people in there, so someone's bound to answer. I'll jump in, give my suggestions, my input. A lot of other people will probably jump in because they're in the same position as you, which is something you have to remember. A lot of people at the moment are going through similar things. Someone may be able to provide an insight that you hadn't previously thought of. I know it's frustrating. There are things you can do to put yourself in a better position for what's to come later. So just stay active, keep moving, do what you can do at home. Try and remain as positive as possible because setbacks like this are temporary, doesn't need to be permanent. Speak to people if you are struggling, reach out to myself, reach out to friends, reach out to anyone. Videos will continue as normal, obviously, because I'm gonna be at home for a lot of it, so I'm gonna be bored. A wise group once said, uh, we're all in this together. I believe it was High School Musical, 
banging movies, absolutely cracking movies. So keep that in mind.